Welcome back to the cooking show. Uh, today we're making uh, a breakfast dish, but not just any. <laughs> It's special because, <laughs> did you know? It's so true, I was like, well not just Eddie. <laughs> okay, Ian, I think you're so smart. Do the cooking show without me. Welcome back to the cooking show at my apartment. I'm Faraday, and today we're making my version of green eggs and ham, except it's not green eggs and ham, it's greens, eggs, and bacon. We're gonna start off with um, our greens, okay? Look at this, we've got kale, and we've got Swiss chard. Swiss chard, chard, chard. It's such a weird word to say. It's so hard to say. All right, we're gonna remove the stems. Save your stems. You can eat these stems. Also, look how beautiful this stem is. That's gorgeous. I will say this about kale and Swiss chard is that these are your friends with benefits. They have so many good things for your body. Like there's so many things that they're gonna help you and make you feel better. They're full of antioxidants. Why are kale and Swiss chard never lonely? Because they come in bunches. That's a stupid joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really hard with nobody here because Ian's not laughing and I've had only myself to laugh at my jokes and that's fine. So we're just gonna kind of roughly chop our greens. Also, by the way, if you don't like kale or you can't find Swiss chard, you can use spinach. Stems are great. They're full of nutrition. Also, they're gonna add like a little bit of texture to this dish. Look at this. Those are beautiful. I'm going to also put some herbs into this. I can't lie to you, I kinda wanted to make like a green shakshuka type thing. So that's where the inspiration for this comes from. And then it just turned into green eggs and ham. <laughs> so just kinda roughly chopped my herbs. So you can use any mixture of herbs you want in this, really. I love dill. Dill, ugh. Not to make a big deal out of it, but it's one of my favorites. This episode is all about rhyming because Dr. Seuss, okay? So Green Eggs and Ham came out in 1960. It's one of the most popular children's books ever to be sold and written. You know, for those of you guys who don't know Green Eggs and Ham and Sam I Am, it's all about like getting this one little guy to try something he's never tried before. But I'm here to tell you, you should try this dish, try things you've never had before, Give it a whirl. If Dr. Seuss didn't teach you that now, I'm here today to rhyme and tell you, Sicily, try it out, okay? And if you're new to this, if you've never watched this before, the reason we say Sicily, every time I say Sicily, you at home have to drink, okay? So, Sicily, I just said it like three times, okay? What rhymes with Sicily? Sicily, blissfully, bashfully. No, it doesn't rhyme. Uh, I mean, it doesn't work. Don't be silly. We're gonna put scallions in this also. For you guys during quarantine, I feel like this was like a big revelation for people that you can regrow your scallions. Just trim them to leave like a little bit at the end, the whites. So leave the root part. You can put this into water, the root ends in your windowsill and they will regrow. I've actually got some in the windowsill right now. They will grow just like these guys. Couldn't be easier. I'm just gonna thinly slice our scallions, roughly chop. So that's gonna give us our little onion flavor in here. A little garlic. Just thinly slice this, roughly chop it. Next up we've got our ham, AKA bacon. So yes, I know that ham and bacon are different. Ham is from the hind quarter leg of the pig and bacon is usually the belly, it's cured. So we're gonna cook this, render out the fat. And it's, it's the same thing, it's the same animal, it's the same thing. Did you know that Dr. Seuss, that Green Eggs and Ham, only has 50 words in it? It was a bet his publisher was, I think that the Cat in the Hat had like 200 some odd words, and he was like, I bet you you can't use just 50 words in Green Eggs and Ham. So that's why it's like literally just repetitive. Now I don't know who's editing this, but I wanna know how many different words I used at the end of this video, and we'll compare. The rest of the whole video takes place basically right here. We're gonna cook everything, all right? So, so over medium heat, we're just going to add in all of our bacon. So this is 12 ounces of bacon. You could use less. You also, if you want to make this completely um, vegetarian, you don't have to use bacon. Like, that's fine. Skip the bacon step, all right? So my parents made me green eggs and ham once. Um, they made it, I think St. Patrick's Day, actually. Um, remember I was outside in the yard playing? I might have been like 10 or something. And my mom came out and was like, we have green eggs and ham for breakfast. And I was like, yeah, right. Like how? That's impossible. You can't make green eggs. And she did. My mom put like food dye in the eggs. Made green eggs and ham, and it was delicious. It was a little weird. I I will admit, I was like, 
I don't know if I want them, but I ate it and it was good. Fry like bacon, you freshman piggies. We're gonna leave all that bacon fat in there. That's all gonna be delicious. It's gonna add nice flavor. I'm gonna cook my stems in there right now, okay? So the stems go on in. And we're just gonna cook these medium heat, let them soften a little bit. I'll season them with a little bit of salt. So beautiful. All those nice, pretty pinks and greens and yellows and oranges. I don't cook them too, too soft. Um, Cause like I said, I like to have a little bit of texture to them. So we're gonna cook a couple minutes until they soften slightly. And then we'll add in our garlic and our scallions. Sicily, 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 Sicily. We're softening these stems slightly. They still have a little bit of crunch to them. I wanna cook them to mush. I wanna have a little bit of texture in this because the greens and stuff, it's all gonna cook down a little bit. So I don't, I want a little bit of texture with this. Put a nice softness to it now. So I'm gonna add in my garlic and my scallions. And we're gonna basically cook this until it's fragrant. I want you guys to know you can be adaptable with the recipe. If you don't like garlic, one of my friends can't eat garlic right now. Don't put garlic in there. If you don't have scallions, you could use an onion or a shallot. Next up, we're gonna take all these greens. Look at so many greens. It doesn't look like it's ever gonna fit into this cast iron skillet. You're right, it's not. <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna put it all in there, watch this. But it'll all cook down. Never you fear. Don't even worry about it. My skillet is a little bit too small. I usually use a bigger one, but this will be fine. The heat is cooking this and kind of steaming it down. And also I'm kind of moving the stems into there and they're gonna kind of wilt this down a little bit as well. See? Of this here, lemon and half the juice. We're gonna add the bacon back in too. Yes. Pepper, right on in. You get that lemon in there. Tastes so nice. The bacon's nice and salty. I'm gonna do six little wells, one in the middle. Ouchie. Okay, we're gonna season this with a bit of salt and pepper over all the eggs. We're gonna put a lid on this and let it steam. It's gonna take about seven to eight minutes depending on your stove top. I'm just gonna lower the heat. The whites will be set, the yolk will still be a bit runny. It's gonna taste delicious. Perfect timing. My bread is done. I'm gonna put some bread over here. The eggs, look at that. The whites are set and the yolks are still runny, which is good. We're ready to eat. Ooh. So to finish it, we're just going to squeeze over that other half of a lemon that we had. Squeeze that juice right over. And then you can put any herbs or if you wanna be classy and put some edible flowers. You can do anything you want on top. I'm going to put a little bit of these chive blossoms. Aren't they beautiful? Put this on top. Just give it a little purple color. I think it's cute. I'm gonna serve it with some toast. Look at that. Green eggs and ham. What up, Dr. Seuss? Greens, eggs, and bacon. Same thing. Isn't this what he really meant at the end of the day? I think so. I could eat them at my home. I could eat them all alone. What's that smell that you are making? Why, of course, green eggs and bacon. <laughs> look at this, oh, look at that. The yolk is just perfectly runny and just delicious. Mmm, it's so good. You've got the delicious kind of saltiness of the bacon. You've got all those greens. The stems are nice, have nice little texture to it. The egg is perfectly cooked. You can scoop this out, share it with some friends. Breakfast for dinner, dinner for breakfast. I don't care when you eat this, just eat it, make it, have fun. For the recipe for greens, eggs, and bacon, go to our website or click the link below.